Clark Swanson, the Halo Beauty partner, the one suing Tati, James Westbrook, and Halo Beauty, just showed up in my DMs? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Started beef. Tati Westbrook's business partner, Clark Swanson, has slid in a YouTuber's DMs. And guess what? She made a video about it. But before we start, do not forget to go down below and subscribe to the channel and ring that bell button so you can get notified every time I post. Also, as a quick disclaimer, I just want to remind you guys that everything we discuss here in the channel is my opinion and my opinion only not to be taken as a fact. Always do additional research from the information that you get here in the channel. Do not send any hate to the people that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Am I right? fellow adult. However, I do encourage all of you to go in the comment section and let me know what do you think about the situation. Tati and James Westbrook business partner Clark Swanson has slid into the DMs of a small YouTuber. If you don't remember Clark Swanson, he is the partner who started Halo Beauty with James and Tati and now he's suing them. I have made a video about the situation. You're more than welcome to go ahead and watch it after this one. Swanson had reached out to Sarah Jo Makeup a YouTuber with 9.54 thousand subscribers and she made a video called why is Clark Swanson in my DMs? Tati Westbrook lawsuit scandal. Clark Swanson, the Halo Beauty partner, the one suing Tati, James Westbrook, and Halo Beauty, just showed up in my DMs? I am not a big YouTuber. I am not a big commentary channel. I have less than 10K subscribers. Why would this person reach out to me? So I'm gonna share this conversation, go through this conversation I had. And share she did. And here are the text messages that Clark Swanson sent to her. Hey, it's Clark Swanson. I just watched your video on the Westbrook lawsuit. You are smart. Just thought I would point out that your instincts are good. The truth will be revealed. None, literally none, of the allegations made in the Westbrook's response are truthful. B.S. Glad Halo worked for you. It is hands down the best supplement on the market. And then obviously Sarah responds to his message. Thank you. That's very nice. But I'm wondering if what you're saying is true, why didn't your law lawsuit include any receipt like if there's proof why not just go ahead and show it the lawsuit was filed as a verified complaint which means i would be guilty of perjury if proven false as for the receipts they will be forthcoming as you guys know i'm not a lawyer so i don't want to talk about the whole claims of perjury but about the complaint and the lack of receipts or exhibits because it looks really weird that the westbrooks had plenty of receipts on their response to the complaint so I wanted to check it out and see why would he not put any exhibits on the initial complaint. I found a blog that I'm going to put in the description below if you want to read the entire blog. This is the relevant information that I found there. It's actually not proper to attach some exhibits to complaints and it is often a really bad idea to do so. The problem with doing so is that anything you attach to a complaint becomes an allegation. You may not have all the facts when you file a complaint. You could end up fighting over some issue that could have been completely avoided if you had simply alleged the relevant terms of the contract instead of attaching a copy. So based on this blog that I read, it looks like it wouldn't be a good idea to put any exhibits or receipts on the very initial complaint file. Keep in mind, the Westbrook dated allegations that have nothing to do with my complaint. They claim I didn't do my work or had the funds, etc. I was a multi millionaire he was a multi-millionaire he's not a multi-millionaire anymore is that tea no god please no well this video is not about that let's keep going founder of black line safety symbol bln and what i disputed took place on august 1st Saying I didn't do my job or was embarrassing to Westbrook or didn't pay vendors on time really has nothing to do with my lawsuit. What Baker reviewed was not their response, but an intern lawyer communication to an earlier demand letter. Hope it makes sense. It does make sense, but from my understanding, the embarrassing allegations would give context for asking you to take a smaller role in the company. And the main piece of the puzzle they seemed to provide was a trademark. 
I'm not saying their allegations are true. I have no idea. But the trademark, I verified for myself. Are you willing to give any context on that? I can't speak to that right now as it is part of our complaint. They wanted to do skincare and makeup with me in exchange for the equity. This will be proven as the company has records of it that have not been released publicly. I'm not suggesting you make a video about this. Then why are you messaging me? <laughs> I'm just saying your instincts were correct. And how was she paid for sponsorship without disclosing it? Good question. And I do want to elaborate on this part. First of all, I'm pretty sure he knew that if he's messaging a YouTuber, they most definitely are going to make a video about it. And I will give you guys my opinion on why I think he's doing this. As for the speculation of Tati not disclosing sponsored products in her videos, I'm just gonna play devil's advocate here because I don't know much about that. This is just my opinion. Maybe because Tati has been in the platform for so long, her older videos did not disclose. I don't know let me know down in the comments if you guys have noticed any videos of hers not disclosing their sponsorships after the laws have changed i appreciate the compliment but that does make me wonder why you would take the time to reach out you seem like someone who has a lot on his plate when i saw you messaged i did figure there was something you wanted made public nah was just late and watched a few videos of people who have no idea what they're talking about you see what will come to the forefront will blow everyone's mind i wouldn't spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on legal fees if i wasn't fairly comfortable with the facts of the case oh girl Yes. And I do agree with that part. I don't think he would invest that amount of money if he wasn't at least a little confident that he could win this lawsuit. However, now we gotta see how he's going to clap back to that 130 plus pages that Tati and James Westbrook had submitted as a response to his complaint. But the question still remains, why would he send a message to a channel with less than 10,000 subscribers? And here is my hypothesis. In my opinion, Opinion, he knew that any youtuber he messaged would make a video about it so now with that in mind he needed to figure out what would look like he didn't try to get a video out messaging a large youtube channel would be very obvious that he was looking into having a video done so he strategized by sending a message to a channel that was not super small like mine but it was not a huge channel because he knew she had enough reach to be seen by the larger channels and that is exactly what happened once she released her videos creators like true sleuth picked up the story right away and posted a video on the same day and that eventually will trickle up which means that his message will ultimately get spread across the platform but as i said that's just my hypothesis i want to know what's your hypothesis about this situation and if you like this video please don't forget to drop a like go ahead and subscribe to the channel now and ring the bell button so you can get notified every time i post also follow me on my socials they will be down in the description below thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next upload Bye,